Right, while we are on the subject of working out from home, I've got some load additions for you to some common rehab exercises for single leg that I get people doing. Now, we haven't done load options for the one leg ball squat yet, but now we have. So, what I want you doing, if you want to add load onto this, remember, most of the load is lateral. So when we do, put that down, when we do a one leg ball squat like this, the load is me pushing the knee in, gets the load through the hip, right? There's no load through the knee. Now this is really good for early rehab because for people who can't load the knee joint, but they need lots of glute and lots of knee control and stability, this is fantastic, okay? But if you want to advance that, if this is getting too easy for you, but you want to keep the single leg strengthening work in your routine, add on a power band, because then you don't have to hold any weights, okay? So, and again, you might not have weights home, but these are really easy to come by. So, use a power band around the same shoulder, same leg. So this one here, put it in the outside leg, outside shoulder, because that's the leg you're training, okay? Makes sense. Now, this part here, then that downward pressure is on my knee. So there's my strengthening. So I go through the same ball squat like this, and when I straighten up, I'll be stretching the band. The good thing about this one, again with all rehab, when I'm more vulnerable, down at the bottom, the band is less, whereas a weight isn't, okay? So in this position here, the band's looser, it's not as hard here. When I straighten up, close the joint, easier on the knee, harder on the band, makes more sense, okay? So that's a really, really good one to do to try and work on increasing load, increasing your strength, on that single leg exercise. If we move to a single leg deadlift, okay, so working on hamstring component, what you can do, whereas normally you're doing a single leg deadlift with a weight, okay, so you're working on single leg deadlift, or you were working on a band, so like this, okay, working on a single leg deadlift like that, all right. Now, if you've got those two nailed, your balance is good, you're working on your control, you don't have any heavier weight at home. So this is for when like, oh, I've only got a 12 or an eight, I can't go any heavier with this. What you can do is add on a band. What I suggest, if the bell or the dumbbell is on your left hand, the band's on your right, and your right foot, the one you're standing on. All right, so same sort of drill. Put that up on the same shoulder, down on there. There's my load, okay. And then my bell is the other hand, which leaves this one free for my balancer. So from this point here, then I can go through my single leg deadlift and come up, okay? Now this one you have to really think on your control, which is, hey, that's why I like it, because you have to concentrate, all right? So think, opposite band, opposite weight, leaves that hand free, and just really focus on your knee control when you're doing a single leg deadlift, because yes, it is hammies, but it's more about the knee control than anything else. So there's another load option for you for your single leg at home. So number three is you can work on a step down or single leg squat with weights with a band. Now, with a single leg squat, what I suggest you use two bells, okay, or two dumbbells, so you keep the weight even when you're doing the squat. And then this one is you're gonna cross sling it across you. So it's not on sort of one side. You're going from one foot to one shoulder. It sort of keeps you centered, okay? So this one, it's a little bit tricky to set up, but same sort of deal. Same band, big power band, through opposite shoulder, okay? So right, if I'm doing my right foot, right foot, left shoulder, all right? And then I'm free to hold these weights as much as I want, all right? So at that point there, then I can go down into my step down and come up, and I've got my continual weight, which is my dumbbells, and my variable weight, which is my power band, okay? So that's a really nice one to do, to work on adding a bit more load, especially when you're at home, okay? So adding, adding you've only got a couple of dumbbells, you wanna add more load, add on a band. The beautiful thing about this and the other ones like the one leg ball squat and your single leg deadlift is the, the band that you're adding is a variable load. So again, it's in that rehab sort of realm. As the joint gets more vulnerable, as you go lower, 
and the band gets easier, okay? As you go higher and straighten your leg out, the band gets harder. So it's a nice adjunct to add on to your current sort of level what you're doing, so you're not just adding on mass amounts of weight, you're adding on a variable weight, it makes all the difference. See how that goes.